Welcome back to my live stream. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Oh my gosh, I'm early. What's going on? What's happening? I know everyone's checking their watches. They're going, what the heck time is it? It's not 5 p.m. EST. How's a bird screaming about back there? Just kidding. Bert screaming because he doesn't understand daylight savings time. He's confused. It's dark. He thinks it's dinner time. It's understandable. It's another reason we're doing this a little earlier, because I know if I wait till five, he's going to be really screaming. Hi, Giselle. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you're here. Hello. Thank you for coming. I was just saying, Betsy's here. Oh my gosh. Yay. Betsy, I'm so happy you're here on time. I'm here at a weird time. So I'm so happy that we managed to cross paths as I normally come in at five, but today I was like, why don't I just come in a little early? The thing is, oh my gosh, and Giselle's never caught a live before. Oh my gosh, it was fate. It was meant to be. I was meant to come here early today because um, I used to, my work schedule just changed. I used to get out at 4.45 on Wednesdays, so that's why I would do my lives at five. It would give myself a very frantic 15 minutes to get myself together, but my schedule just changed. So now I get out at four, but I also start like an hour earlier, so it's fine. I'm very tired, but I feel like I just got a, a burst of energy coming onto this live stream and seeing that you guys came. I was a little worried. I was like, I'm here early. Is anybody going to show up? But you guys are here. I'm so freaking excited. My fake nose ring is really tickling my nose today. I'm going to have to take this out for a second. Did you know? Did you know it was a fake nose ring? Probably. I talk about it a lot. Hi, D. Oh my gosh. Or die. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Die. And Alex is here. Hello, Beverly's here. Hello, everybody's here. We're so excited. Ooh, I got a candle again. It's out of frame, but I got yet another candle. I got my honey pumpkin candle from Marshall's. I'm so sad. It's almost gone. It's like right at the bottom. I went back to Marshall's the other day to try to get some more, and they're out. And that really bums me out, because this is like my favorite, favorite candle I've ever bought. It smells so good. It smells like a bread factory. Is that what you call it? A bakery. A bakery, not a bread factory. I don't know, maybe a bread factory is a thing. But it smells like a bakery that predominantly makes bread, but they also make, like, sweet bread. You know? Like, it's not just, like, they're not just making savory breads over there. They're making sweet breads. And they're making pumpkin bread. Well, this doesn't even smell like pumpkin bread. Because the nice thing about this, I won't talk about this candle for too long. I promise I will talk about makeup stuff. But the nice thing with this honey pumpkin candle is that it's not pumpkin spice. And don't get me wrong, I love pumpkin spice, but this is different. It's unique. Like, it really smells like honey. Like, honey and pumpkin mixed together. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it so much. Oh, and more folks are here. Crystal's here. Hello. Amy's here. Hello. Uh, Amy, I'm happy for whatever time you can spend with us. That is great. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no, Betsy, they were out at your Marshall slash TJ Maxx too. I'm so sad. I think they've fully transitioned to like Christmas candles now because I was there the other day and it was all like pine tree scented and winter fresh. I don't know. It was like a lot of scents that I'm not very into. I don't hate the smell of pine. I'm just like not as into it in a candle, you know? I like sweet smelling candles. Sweet and spicy, that's my whole thing. And Christmas cookies, I like Christmas cookies candles. There's a Yankee candle that's called Christmas cookies. That's really, really nice. Oh my gosh, yes though, be on the lookout. If you guys can still find this candle, I don't know, maybe there's some TJ Maxx's that didn't run out, and if you can get the honey pumpkin, honestly, I'd, I'll pay you to send me one. If you guys find any more, I'm that desperate. I'm like, Oh, this really brightens my whole mood, especially I work so early in the morning and sometimes the coffee is just taking too long to kick in. And so I light a candle to try to like, you know, set the vibe for myself, try to make myself feel a little happier about being awake at 5.30. So this candle brings me so much joy. It's okay. I got so many other candles too. This one's just my favorite. So yeah, I guess that's enough about candles for the day. I can't help it. I love to talk about candles. Should I rebrand as a candle channel? I don't think I have enough to be a whole candle channel. There's a, a woman on YouTube here who I discovered recently 
who her whole channel, and I'm sure there's other people that do this, her whole channel is devoted to Bath and Body Works, and she makes videos on, like, all of the seasonal candles and all of the seasonal scents and describes them, and her background literally looks like a Bath and Body Works store. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm like, that might be the content that I'm interested in lately. I'm very interested in, in candles and fragrances and things. Oh, so good. Thank you, Giselle likes the lights on my bed. My Halloween lights ended up staying up for a little while longer than I anticipated because they're orange. You know, orange doesn't have to be Halloween. Oh no, I forgot to share my Instagram story. I had a little story lined up saying I'm live and I didn't share it, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll have more folks join. Dawn is here. Hello. And Sandy's here. Yes, you guys, I'm early today. I know everyone's like, hmm, what's going on? What's this? This is your watches. You guys are all wearing watches. I'm not, but I know I'm here early. It's surprising. I got to keep you guessing, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I got out of work early today. So that's basically the that on that, but I'm here. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm vibrant. I'm full of life. I'm exhausted, but I'm awake. So Let's get into the fun stuff. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So in today's live stream, as you saw from the title, I'm going to be testing out some multi crumbs. You saw I had two swatches on my hand. One washed off, but my other one is like still here. I'm amazed. I can't believe I've washed my hands like three times. It's not coming off, but that's fine. It comes off with, it comes off with an oil cleanser. I tested it last night. But the first one I'm going to be trying today is from Divina Cosmetics. My lovely friend and subscriber, Cami, sent me some stuff the other day, and she, she, I'm, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to spoil it. I've already been talking about it in my Instagram stories. She accidentally ordered two of the Danessa Myricks Volume 3, Lightwork Volume 3 palette. I have it behind me here. She accidentally ordered two, and she sent me her second one, which is absolutely freaking incredible. I have a review coming on Friday. I've already started it. It's a very involved review. I'm very excited about it. And in that package, she also sent me a couple other things. She also sent me this Divina Cosmetics Multichrome Eyeshadow, which is maybe the coolest thing I've ever seen. I don't know how I'm going to capture the shift, but uh, it's it's freaking nuts. It's I put it in the thumbnail because I wanted to show you, like, so you could see the shift, because I know you could see it on my hand, and it kind of just looks like this color, like, in my ring light, but it's got such a cool purple shift to it. I'll try to figure out a way to demonstrate it to you. Hi, Artie. Artie's here. Oh my gosh, more folks are showing up. How freaking exciting. The whole gang's here, but yeah, I got this cool Davina shadow. It's in the shade Aqu Aquila. It's spelled, like, Aqua, like, Aquila. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Aquila, I think. So, very exciting about that. And then she also sent me this, I, literally screaming, I saw this in the tube and for some reason I thought it was an eyeshadow primer and then I pulled it out and was like, the oh, Danessa Myricks Twin Frames Multichrome, are you kidding me? Like, this, her kindness, Cami, literally, I hope she comes today, she's so sweet, but this, she sent me this Twin Flames Multichrome. This is the one that's still stuck on my hand. Not stuck, not stuck. I swatched it on my face yesterday and it washed off very easily with an oil cleanser. But, um, that's, you know, it's got some staying power to it, definitely. Like I said, I washed my hands quite a few times and it's, it's still here. So, very excited. She sent me the shade Everlasting. So, I'm gonna be trying that on today. Super excited about it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Donna, you have the Danessa Myricks palette? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. It is so good. It's so, so good. Spoiler for the review. It's so, so good. Now, please still watch the review because I'm going to do a bunch of different looks with it and I test it on different bases and stuff. So it's it's still going to be a good review, but it's so beautiful. Do you want to see it? It's fine. Not You know, not everybody watches the live stream. The live stream is for the folks who are really coming to hang out here. This is the Danessa Myricks palette. It's freaking nuts. I'm really trying to show you the ships here. What's so cool actually about looking at this on camera is that I can see that this shade is green in the camera, but from my angle, it's straight up purple. So that's so freaking cool. I don't understand how multi-chromes work. I would love to learn how they do this. Like how is this scientifically possible that it can be so many different colors? Like, this is purple from here. 
This is, okay, no, that's still blue from here. What's another one that's a different color? Oh, this color that looks purple to you looks red from my end. Like, how does it work? Oh, almost knocked over all my stuff. How does it work? I don't know how it all works, but it's so cool. I'm so excited. And what's also really exciting about my, my Danessa Myricks review and why you should still watch it, even though you know that I already like it, is that Cami also, she accidentally ordered two of everything, which is like a complete blessing to me, to be honest, because she sent me her extra stuff, which is so cool. But so I have also this, which is the mini lightwork palette, which I haven't opened it because I don't want to tarnish it at all. I looked at it once, um, but it's literally, it's just this section, like it's all of the highlighters. And so she got an extra one of these too, so she sent it to me. So I'm going to do a giveaway with it because I don't need two of this middle row. So definitely, definitely still watch on my Friday video because I'm going to be giving this away. I haven't touched it or anything. I just looked at it to see what it is. But uh, yeah, super excited about that. I hope she decides to restock this dang palette though because everybody should be able to buy the big one and the little one and whatever you want. I don't understand why anyone ever makes anything exclusive or limited edition. That is nuts. Why would you not restock something that is well liked? I don't know. I think she makes multiple of these light work palettes, so I guess it makes sense. I guess it's fair, but whatever. Ooh, Donna's explaining multi-chromes to me. This is so exciting. They're prisms. They bend light instead of reflecting it. Oh my gosh, Ooh, somebody wanted me to touch it. Okay, sure, I'll touch it, why not? Why not? I'm gonna touch one of the cream shades. This is Polaris, I know it looks white, but it's not white. And then I'll touch this beautiful multi-crown, the shade Galaxy that looks green to you, but looks purple to me. Ah, so cool. I could just swatch this palette all day. I did swatch it all day yesterday, it was so fun. Okay, so here's the cream shadow in the shade Polaris. Are you freaking kidding me? It looks gold now, but it's like, oh, it's so many different colors. I wish I could portray all of the colors. And then Galaxy, which looked green to you, but is really like a green, purple, blue. It's every color all at once somehow. It's freaking nuts. This one definitely has a black base to it. It's so, so pretty. They swatch so well. Like, you don't have to fake the swatches. They just look so good. I like them so much. Wow. I wish I could show you the different colors. How do I do that? Kind of look different here. Do they look different here? Ooh, ooh. This was me <laughs> all day, all night last night. We went for a walk too and I was outside and my boyfriend was like, oh, your eyeshadows are changing colors. So I had my phone out and I was like turning into different street lights and stop lights trying to be like, where's the shift? Where's the shift? Where's the shift? Because it's so cool. But that's not what this video is about. That's Friday's video. We have to do that on Friday. <laughs> so I have other multi-chromes to test today. Oh my gosh, wow. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, Han, let me tell you about the Davina shade. Some people missed when I talked about my Davina eyeshadow that my friend Cami sent me. This is the shade Aquila. It's spelled A-Q-U-I-L-A. -A. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But it's this beautiful aqua looking shade, but it also has like a blue purple shift to it. It's so cool. I'm going to put it on my eyes right now because I'm so excited about it. Wow. This one I've only swatched. I haven't tried this one on my eyes at all. I've been playing around with the Demessa the Demessa Myricks palette over the last couple days. But I haven't put the Davina shadow on my eyes. So I'm going to take my bird. Look who's here and not yelling. Not yet. He said not yet. He's definitely going to yell, but there's a little baby behind me. How exciting. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay. Donna brings up a good point that multi-chromes being prismatic are very expensive to make, and that's why they tend to be limited edition. That's a good point. See, I love doing lives because you guys, you, you let me know what's going on real quick. I'm like, what's going on? What's happening? And then um, everyone's like, this is what's happening. So, great. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Existential Gal. There's new folks joining. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy you all came. Honey Metal. Heck yeah. I'm so happy you're here. Bert's thrilled to see everyone. 
I'm going in with my Fear and I Pixie Epoxy that my kind friend Artie sent to me. Artie, this is me putting my hand under you. I don't know. I'm picturing you as like a small fairy and I'm holding you because it's Fear and I. I don't know. It makes me think of fairies. <laughs> I'm just going to put my primer on. I just want to give myself a good, nice base for this um, here multi-chrome. I think I'm going to try it without a black base underneath on this side, and then if I'm, you know, oh, oh, feeling weird about it, I'll put a black base under it. I tend to like putting a black base under all of my multi-chromes. By black base, I just mean a black eyeshadow. Sometimes black eyeliner, but I love the way that multi-chromes look over a black base. I feel like it makes them pop a little more, but I'm also a curious cat, much like my actual curious cat, so I do want to see it both ways, so I think, yeah, we'll do both. And um, you already know what shape I'm going for. You know we're going for something graphic here. We're not doing any blending today. I just want to see pretty colors. That's my favorite thing about doing like big graphic eye looks is that they look complicated and it's like people are like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I could do graphic makeup. And I'm like, hey man, it's just shapes. You know, I'm really just doing shapes of a color that I like and I use Q-tips to clean it up to make it look sharp. So. That's what I'm going to be doing today. Hi, Tess. Oh my gosh, more folks are here. How exciting. Ooh, okay. D, sorry, no, you said it was Die. Die. Yes, Die was the correct one, I believe. Correct me again if I'm wrong. But Die is saying that some, ca some palettes or brands say that they can't source pigments anymore, which is why it's limited edition. That makes sense to me. That is very logical. That totally makes sense. I'm sure sourcing pigments is way harder than I think it is. I'm like, why can't they just go back to the eyeshadow factory and make more eyeshadow? But multi-chromes are different, you know? It's not like not like making a Morphe palette, that's for sure. Definitely more complicated than that. Um, I have to put this in my magnetic palette. I'm so nervous. I don't have any room. I need to get a bigger magnetic palette. I only have this little one. And it's already filled with single shadows that my lovely friend already sent me. And I'm out of room. Didn't have any room. Dang it. Have to get another one. So nervous I'm going to drop it. It's okay. You'll just be careful. You'll just be careful. Okay. I'm going to apply it with my finger. Because that's how I like to apply my multi-chromes. Ooh, it's kind of chunky. It's kind of got some chunks in it. So weird that this looks purple to me. And then I look in the camera and it's green. Wild. Wild how prisms work. Prisms and pigments. Right, guys? Okay. So let's see. Let's, should I zoom in? I never know with live. Cool. Very seamless and cool zoom. Okay. Is it, is it dry enough? Sometimes I don't wait long enough for the pixie epoxy and then it's a little too wet, but I think it's dry enough. There's already a cat hair in my finger. That's okay. I pulled it out. Okay, let's see what this looks like on the eye with no base. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. What? Literally a galaxy. Literally a freaking galaxy. Are you kidding me? This is going to be me the whole live stream. Just tilting my head at different angles, desperately trying to show you the shift. This is cool, wow. It's looking more green on the eye than I feel like it looks here. Like I feel like when you look at this, okay, now it looks green. It doesn't look like a little more blue here when you look it on the eye and it looks like straight up green, which is so weird because it also looks purple to me in person, weird. Okay, I'm taking a little more product here. I'm just covering my entire sticky base. And don't worry, I'll use a Q-tip to, like, make it look nice. You guys are very worried. Maybe I'll use a brush just for part of it. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to play in these multi-chromes today. Just see what they look like on the eyes. It's so reflective. Holy moly. Wipe my extra on my hand. Where's the brush? Do we have a clean brush? We don't have a clean brush, but that's okay. We'll wipe it on a paper towel, as I always do. <sighs> Somebody told me to clean my brushes sometime. Please. My goodness. Ooh, 
Ooh, we're talking about shipping problems. I know all about shipping problems. I work in I work in a customer service department of a retailer now, and I deal literally all day with things not shipping that we're supposed to ship. Very fun. Just kidding. It is actually very fun. It's a good time. Most people are nice, but a lot of can I a lot of can I speak to the managers today? Let me tell you that for sure. My goodness. Oh, that's so interesting, Donna. I didn't know most multi-chromes are made in the U.S. That's so cool. Wow. Very fun. I love, I think Davina's are all handmade. I noticed that on the back here. Yeah, they have a little stamp that says handmade and cruelty-free, which rocks. So I think that's so cool. Much making a multi-chrome by hand. No wonder any makeup brand multi-chromes are sold out like so much of the time. That must take so much time to make a multi-chrome by hand and to mix the pigments to a point where they do the shifty thing like <laughs> I'm sure it's really really time consuming and it is definitely a labor of love that's why I love shopping indie brands though because you can just like feel the time and consideration that's put into everything they do and especially with multi-chromes oh my gosh the first multi-chrome I ever tried is from Dawn Eyes Cosmetics I still have it. It's a loose pigment. It's back there. I'll pull it out later. But if you guys haven't tried Dawn Eyes Cosmetics, their multi-chromes are nuts. They do a lot of loose multi-chromes. And what I like about them is you can buy really small sizes that they have for a discounted price. Like you can try a really small amount of a multi-chrome for like $7 maybe. And it'll still last you a while. Like you'll still get a lot of use out of it. But I like that option since a lot of multi-chromes are expensive and I know they last forever. Um, so I like that they give a smaller option because that definitely helped me out last year when I really wanted to try a multi-chrome, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money. I got that on Black Friday last year, actually. Dawn Eyes Cosmetics had an amazing Black Friday sale, which is, you know, not always typical for an indie makeup brand, but they had like 35% off. So I definitely took advantage of that. Took advantage of that, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, yes. Donna, I could see you owning a makeup company. Uh, you know so much about makeup. I feel like every time I come on live here and I'm like, what's this? What's that? What's that? Donna just knows. Like, and I know you know. I know you're not like Googling stuff because you're so quick. Like, you're too quick to be searching stuff. I can totally see you owning your own makeup brand. That's what I was just saying. I love indie makeup brands because they're usually started by makeup lovers, people who love makeup and spend their time researching makeup and what makes makeup good. Like, ugh, my discovery of indie makeup brands last year, not my personal discovery, just me getting into make indie getting into indie makeup brands last year was like the best thing to happen to me. It totally changed my makeup style. I used to be a neutral makeup gal. Can you even believe it? I used to be like, oh, I put a little peach in the crease today, really getting crazy over here. And now I'm like, ah, yes, a simple basic eye look, perfect. <laughs> but indie makeup brand just has so many beautiful colors, so it definitely encouraged me to get into color more, play around with color. And now I love color, pretty much exclusively wear color. Okay, I'll fix that shape later. This is really, really beautiful. This is really, 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 really beautiful. I mean, this is awesome. I gotta check in on the chat. Check in on the chat. Oh my gosh, yes, Existential Gal is experiencing the same thing as me. Yes, multi-chromes, glitter, those striped swirly shades. Yes, I am super intrigued by those two. I know what you're talking about, like the ones in the Huda Beauty palettes. And also, Odin's Eye does a lot of those too. Mine don't look swirly anymore because I already swirled them around. That's the thing about those swirly shades is that they're kind of just for show because you use it one time and then they swirl together. But it is still really cool. I do still like them. Um, my friend Tara Brooke got the new Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty. She did not like it. She did, you know, it seemed like a lot of those shades didn't work too great. And unfortunately, some of those swirlies didn't look as cool once they were swirled, but some of them are super cool. So, yes, love it. Sorry, I'm reading a message. That's why I'm looking down and dancing. Oh my gosh. Han, I was the same last year. Han is saying that they followed a bunch of indie makeup brands, but like haven't bought anything yet. 
yes, that was me for like the first portion of last year, really up until like Black Friday. I tried a couple before then, but Black Friday last year, I took advantage of all of those sales. I made my first Midas Cosmetics order on Black Friday, my first Dawn Eyes Cosmetics, which was my first multi-chromes ever. What else did I get? I ordered the Ace Pute Oceanic palette on Black Friday last year. Like, I really was doing the most on Black Friday last year. I spent money I did not have to spend, but at least I got some good deals. Tara, it's like I said your name and you appeared. Were you here before or did you just come in? Because I just said your name and talked about your Rose Quartz palette review and now you're here. I manifested you. I love it. Yes. Yay, everybody's liking the eyeshadow. Oh, I'm so glad. I feel like this didn't even need a black base. I don't know. Do you think it would look different under a black base? I'm like, do I want to do the black base on the other eye? Or maybe I'll just do it on my hand. Let's just, let's see what it looks like on my hand to see if it's going to be worth it to do it on the other eye. Okay, this is just a, a Rimmel black gel liner. This is what I like using a ba as a base a lot of the time because it's like a little sticky, but it's waterproof. So gives nice good prime to it. Excellent, excellent. Hi, Bert. Bert's rubbing his cheek on my toes. He's so sweet. Okay, let's see what this multi-chrome looks like over a black base before I commit to putting it on the other eye. Okay, are we watching? Are we watching? <laughs> Goes out of frame. Are we watching? Okay. Ooh, ooh, I take everything back. Look how much more powerful it is over a black base. Holy freaking moly, what? That's cool. Oh, black bases make everything so powerful. Oh my gosh. I should have done a black base for Bells. That's okay. It's important to be able to see the difference. And yeah, we're going to do a black base on the other side because that is so cool. Wow. Yeah, this is what it looks like without the black base. This is it just like on its own. And then over the black base, this is black base. This is no black base. I mean, it's no comparison, you know? But I do still like the look. I built it up on this eye, so I feel like it still looks very powerful, even without the base, but boy, oh boy, I'm excited about it with this base here. Oh my gosh, should I use this or should I use black eyeshadow? I'll use this, I'll use this. Give me time to, to read the comments while I'm covering my eye in black base. What's going on? Some new folks are joining. Ooh, Honey Metal, I wanna try Cleona too. I wanna try Cleona so bad. I get overwhelmed by choice with most multi-chrome brands, but especially with Cleona, I like, it's, I just, I get so overwhelmed looking at Cleona's website. What I need to do is like make a wish list before they have a restock so I'm ready to go, but I just get so overwhelmed because I need to figure out the difference and it's been told to me before, but I didn't write it down anywhere because Cleona sells like different types of multi-chrome, so they have like the glitter ones and then they have like some jewel tone base ones which have like a black base and then they have some that don't have a black base I don't know I need to learn the difference between all of them but the thing is like I'm gonna be disappointed with any of them you know I tell myself I'm too overwhelmed by choice I don't know what to get I'm too overwhelmed by choice and then like Cami sends me this random multi-chrome and I'm like this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen so like no I'm not gonna be disappointed with whatever I get, so, yes, oh my gosh, yes, Betsy, the stained glass collection, oh, if I suddenly became very, very rich out of nowhere for no reason, I, of course, first would pay off my debts, you know, give money to my family and give money to the community and whatnot, you know, of course, I'd do all my good deeds, but after I did all my good deeds, I would probably buy the Cleona stained glass collection first like that. I would love to just have all of it. Like I long to own the entire stained glass collection. That would be so, so nice. Oh my gosh. Yes, Cleona is shiny goals. Absolutely it is. Oh my gosh. Yes. Ooh, do rotor. That is a good point. I always forget that Millie, who I believe is bad to the brown on Instagram, Yes, Bats of the Brown does a, a great video swatching a Klingon and Multicrums. I think I've seen pieces of it before. I gotta go back and watch it though. I had to take notes is a thing. Like I watch videos of people trying Multicrums just like, 
oh, with stars in my eyes, just like enjoying the enjoying the video. But I need to take notes, you know. I gotta write some stuff down here. Um, I used to do that all the time when I would go to the drugstore. I would literally pull up a Tati video, like of her favorite drugstore products. And I need to start doing that when I'm shopping for multi crumbs too. I need to like pull up Millie's video and be like, okay, what are the multi crumbs? What are we getting? Um, but yes. Thank you, Tara. You're so kind. Tara's reminding everyone to give me a big thumbs up for the live stream. Thank you so much. That would be super sweet of you to do. I would love a thumbs up for the live stream. I love the live streams. I have so much fun on the live streams. Such a freaking blast. You guys energize me. Literally give me energy right now because I was so exhausted before starting this. I almost didn't want to go live today, but I was like, I have to because it's fun and I always have so much fun and I want to put my makeup on. So I might as well do it among friends instead of just watching my true crime videos. <laughs> I already watched a few today, so I could, you know, take a little bit of a break from the true crime. Got a lot of murders on the brain, so I could probably take a, take a rest from that for a while. I'm going to sharpen this. Where's my pencil sharpener? Yay. Really interesting stuff. <laughs> ooh, I miss Tom came out with. Ooh, everyone's giving great recommendations for videos for me to watch with Leona swatches. Thank you so much. I'm going to go back and look at this chat later and write all of those down. Type all of those down. Yes, you know, I need to just... Take notes with the multi chrome videos. That's really what I need to do. This is a good pencil. I gotta give it to the folks at Rimmel. Like, for this being a pencil liner, very creamy. Okay. Will the shapes match? I don't know. That's a good question. Thank you for giving me a moment to focus there. Bert's on, Bert's on his zoomies right now. I can hear him running around in the kitchen, my goodness. He gets his zoomies every day, like right around this time, around 4.30. My boyfriend home? I can't tell if someone's trying to get inside. I'm gonna have to get up at some point and let my boyfriend in because I dead bolted the door, as I do. Like I said, watch a lot of true crime videos. So um, I will need to get up at some point to unlock the deadbolt so he can get inside. Also, my laptop came unplugged. Nice. Okay. Oh my gosh, Tara, you wore your flower beauty palette to work for the first time. That's so exciting. I've been wanting to try that palette. It's the Desert Lights. Is that what it's called? I am sleeping on Flower Beauty's eyeshadows because I feel like they look so, so, so sparkly. And, you know, I love a good sparkle, you know? So I just need to try those out, especially at an affordable price point like Flower Beauty is. I would love to try that. The only thing I've tried from Flower Beauty is their under eye color corrector, and I love it. So I really need to give some other products a try too. Hmm. Is it even, she says, is it even? The tails of my my big wing shape here just keep getting longer, but that's okay. That's okay. Rimmel, London, right? Yes, Rimmel is kind of a, a slept on drugstore brand. I feel like slept on by me too. I I only have the one thing right now, but I feel like Rimmel has a lot of people's like drugstore favorites, and I want to branch out my drugstore brands. I feel like I'm always doing Elf and NYX, and Maybelline, and like, I should try Rimmel, I should try Flower. Flower Beauty is a drugstore brand. Although, they're really only carried at Walmart, and I don't live near a Walmart. No, I take it back. I did see something from Flower Beauty in my, C in my CBS the other day, but it was, I can't remember what it was, but it was a very small section, but it's very promising that my CBS is starting to carry Flower Beauty, because that could really change everything for me. Oh man, I'm getting big chunks of this everywhere. Oh, look at it over the black base. Oh, I'm so powerful in this eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's so pretty. I should have used the brush for this side. That's okay. I'll just brush that away. And by brush that away, I mean smudge it on my eyelid. But that's okay. We'll Q-tip it later. 
let's see. This is a pretty loose shadow. You know, like, obviously it's a pressed eye shadow, but you barely have to tap your brush on it, and it does pick up quite a bit of product. Have you guys tried Davina before? I feel like we've all been talking about other eyeshadow brands. Do you guys like Davina Cosmetics? Is it cosmetics? Is it makeup? Um, this is my first thing from them ever, and I'm, you know, I like it a lot. I know Teresa is dead, loves, Tav loves Davina. Um... I watched a video of hers a long time ago, but I remember it was like right before a big restock of theirs. She showed all of her favorite Davina shadows and every single one I was like, <gasps> I just kept gasping. They look so cool. They all look so nice. Oh my gosh. Mm, yes, Tara, I am going to do a video review for the Danessa Myrix palette. I'm doing it on Friday. I've already started it. I'm trying to do a new style of reviews. Honestly, more like your style, Tara, to be honest, um, where I film myself putting on the shadows, like a few different looks, and then I'm going to sit down and film like the review portion of it tomorrow so I can layer the footage so like as I'm talking about why I like certain shades, you'll be able to see me putting on those shades rather than doing a first impressions because I feel like with this Danessa Myrick palette being as limited edition as it is, like... I feel like you don't really need a first impressions, you know, like if anything, you're probably looking to just see how the shadows perform, to see different looks with the shadows. So I thought it would be fun to do a little bit more of a planned review, if you will, rather than a first impressions. And I swatched all the shades on my face so you could see them extra well and do lots of shifts. So that'll be really fun. I should put this a little higher in my crease, huh? Yeah, that's okay. I can add it. It'll hurt my neck. I shouldn't sit crisscross applesauce on my um, <laughs> ottoman like this because it makes me hunch my neck over, but it is comfortable. Also, as is tradition for my lives, my camera will die within the next five minutes, but I already have the backup battery ready to go, so nobody panic when that happens. If you're new here, my camera battery is not good. It cannot survive through an entire live stream, so it always dies around like the 40 minute mark, and then I just put in a new battery and it's fine. But, uh, oh good, I always forget that there is a lag, and you guys are talking about Davina now. This is great, Artie loves Davina. That's great news for me. Han, Han really wants to buy Davina. That's exciting, me too, me too, same, exactly. Do Rotor says Davina is fantastic. Excellent. Love to hear that. All the chefs are kissing. Ooh, the Sugar Drop Collection. You've piqued my interest. I have not heard of the Sugar Drop Collection. That's very cool. Ooh, they're iridescent. That's so fun. I don't mind a little fallout. Honestly, usually I do my eyes first. Um, I did not today. And I am covered in fallout, but that's my own fault for being too reckless with it. But yeah, I don't normally mind fallout because I usually do my eyes first, so... Not a huge deal to me, but I understand, you know, definitely important to note for sure. Tara is a first impression hater. <laughs> That's too funny, yes. I can be too. Sometimes I want to see the first impressions, you know, like I want to really see what's your, your honest, raw reaction. But with certain people, like with Tara, I know Tara's not going to fake a reaction. If she doesn't like something, I don't need to see her first impressions. I know she's going to tell me if she doesn't like it regardless. Um... I sometimes like reacting stuff. Sometimes I like doing first impressions just because I want to, like, experience it with you, even though it's not live. I'm like, I want them to see me discovering that something is good or that something is bad. But with the Danessa Myricks palette, it's also just so big. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to put on every single shade in one video, so I might as well do a little pre-filming and then, you know, layer some stuff in. And I've already done two looks with it. It's nuts. It's really nuts, you guys. I'm so excited. Well, I gotta remember I have a Danessa Myricks Twin Flames pigment to try on today, too. Oops. I already did both eyes. That's okay. Maybe we'll do it as an inner corner highlight. Holy freaking wow. How much better does this side look? This side doesn't look bad. This side absolutely does not look bad. It's just a different vibe. But over black base. I'm blown away. Oh my gosh. Yes, Tara asked me my thoughts on the Auric holiday release. Here's the deal. I didn't think I needed anything, and then they posted a picture of one of the models wearing, like, a graphic-style eye look like this with the green shadow over it, and I was like, 
dang it, Samantha Ravindel, now I feel like I need it. So I'm, I'm interested, especially in that green shade. I'm very, very interested. I'm gonna have to watch some videos or something. I don't know. I, I didn't say what I was doing. I'm zooming in so we can look at both eyes. In case you missed it, this is the Davina shadow over no base, just over my glitter base here. And then this is it over the black base. Ugh, it's powerful over the black base. You know, it's powerful on both, but I guess it's kind of different. I don't know. I feel like it's looking more glittery on this side. Like it's giving very like mermaid, princess, queen, powerful, um, empress. I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to think of other royal words. It's giving very royal under the sea vibes. And this side is giving very like evil villain. I will suck your soul out of your body vibes. And both vibes are vibes I enjoy. I love both of these. But I don't know. I don't know which side's my favorite. I like them both. What can I say? I like them both. I am going to wear both outside. I feel like it's not that bad. It's noticeable. When you look at it side by side, it is noticeable that like I'm clearly wearing two different bases. They are not even. We're not going to talk about it. I have hooded eyes, so it doesn't matter because when I go like this, they look the same. But um, let me zoom out a little bit. I keep going out of frame, but I really wanted to show you a little close up of the two eyes here. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay. Michaela is telling me to try Bad Witch Club palette from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. How have I not seen that? What are you talking about? We're going to look it up expeditiously. I don't think that's a word. Give Me Glow Cosmetics. <gasps> are you kidding? Hitting me, Michaela? How did I not see this? This is a beautiful palette. You guys seen this? You guys seen all this? Those are colors I really like. And I have a Give Me Glow shadow. Or do I have two? Artie, do I have one or two? Artie sent me a ton of single shadows. And I think one of them is from Give Me Glow, isn't it? Yeah, this shade, Pretty Little Lilac. The shade I wore like two weeks live ago. Two lives ago. Two weeks ago I wore this shade from Give Me Glow. Are any of the others from Give Me Glow? That one's from JD Glow, I know. Okay, yeah, so I only have the one shade from uh, Give Me Glow right now, so that palette, palette could be a good option. I'm very glad you brought that up. Thank you, Michaela. That looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, Giselle likes the look without the black base because they like the softer vibe. I feel that, you know? I'm shocked that I don't, like, hate this side and love this side. I'm shocked by how torn I am between which side I love more, because the soft look is kind of fun, you know? It's soft but bold, and I really like the contrast with that, because it's kind of got some soft edges. This blended really beautifully. That's why I mentioned earlier that even though it's a pressed eyeshadow, it almost feels kind of loose because I'd, this isn't even cleaned up with a Q-tip. And you saw, I didn't use like a sharp angled brush or anything, but it just blended out really nicely and really effortlessly. So nice work, Davina. Very good for you. How exciting. Oh my gosh, D picked, I keep forgetting which one it is. Di picked up the new holiday duo as well as Defiance and Morganite from Auric celebrating a full-time job offer. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, dude. We love to see people getting jobs, getting the jobs that they deserve. I'm so happy for you and what a worthy purchase. I do the same thing. I got a new job and I'm like, what makeup will we buy with the money that I haven't gotten yet? Um, it's just fun. It's, you gotta treat yourself every once in a while. Absolutely. Heck yeah, we're getting some love for Gimme Glow in the chat. Everybody loves Gimme Glow shadows. That's so cool. Giselle, I didn't know they made loose highlighters. That's very cool. That's very exciting. I'm going to try a loose highlighter. I've never tried one before, but I like loose. 